Hi guys, welcome back to the CVGS uh, Doki Doki series. I'm joined once again by Toby, Melissa, and Jack. Hi, Ellie. Hey. Hello. <laughs> uh, last episode, we basically had Yuri cut herself, kind of, and then it went all weird, and then it went back to normal, so let's see what's up with that, I guess. Uh, and we're reading a book with her. So. Yuri was full of urine. Haha. <laughs> Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds it so that I don't have harder, uh, so I don't have to harder of a time reading from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri is already totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it into my mouth. Then I take another chocolate and I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if the situation is completely natural. But that means I can't stop here. Apprehensively, pl I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Mm? Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did, did I just... Yuri looks at me. She needs to confirm what just happened. Uh, um. Nathan. So sorry. I guess I shouldn't have done that. Uh, uh. Yuri starts to breathe heavily. Hi. I can't. I can. Suddenly, Yuri forcefully grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. I'm allergic to chocolate. <laughs> my teacup gets knocked over. You've killed me, Nathan. My heart. My heart won't stop panning, Nathan. I can't calm down. It's the allergic reaction to the chocolate. I can't focus, focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, Nathan? <laughs> Unity already presses my hand against her chest. What is happening to me? Fuck out, she's so forward. I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't, I can't make it stop. Oh, look at her eyes. It even makes me want to not read. I just want to look. At you. <laughs> oh, I, oh I'm for realistic crazy. eyes. <laughs> uh, uh. Uh, uh. The hell are you Ah. Uh. Nope. Ah. <clears throat> uh, um. <laughs> It's time to share poems. Thank fuck. I've never been so happy to see a ginger in my life. Yes. Let's go for Monica first. Yuri be like, these are my special eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Nathan, I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. Oh, sorry, I went in the wrong changing room. <laughs> it was Yuri's tits. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when she's around you. I'm so excitable. Which should be a problem in itself. This isn't a problem. But when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Isn't that kind of messed up? I mean, we all have our hobbies, right? She even brings a different one to school every day, like she's got a collection or something. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or nothing like that. Uh -huh, welcome to the club, nice to meet you. I think she just, just gets some kind of eye from it. It might even be like, a sexual thing. Ooh, woo. But, point is, you've kind of been enabling her. Is this ginger gaslighting me? <laughs> I'm not saying it's your fault though. Oh yeah, okay. He literally just told What do you mean? I guess that's why I had to explain it all to you. This is why I don't like gingers. So, I think if you keep distance, that would probably be best for her. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little more time with me. To put it lightly, I at least have it together in the heat. <laughs> I know how to treat the club members. Anyway, 
I worked really, really hard on this book, so I hope that it's uh, effective. Here goes. Oh, nice poem. So that conversation was. Oh. Jeez, that really startled me. Um. Well, I guess I kind of messed up at uh, writing this poem. I was just trying to. Never mind. Let's just move on. Okay, let's go for Matsuki. Yeah. Yeah. Give me a break. Anyway, uh, so that conversation was basically because of you, she cuts herself. But it's not your fault, don't worry. But yeah, it's your fault to don't talk to her anymore. Now read my poem. Uh... <laughs> now get with me. <laughs> this one's alright. Uh, I think your mic's cutting off because I'm not hearing anything you're saying, Melissa. Uh, I think it was you that was cutting out, Nathan. Yeah, you were cutting know. out. Yeah, but it doesn't matter if I cut out because it records my end, okay. Don't <laughs> cut out, cut out. Oh, I don't know how to fix my mic. You still cut out, so just read out the line. Well, yeah. There we go. Oh, as good as yesterday's anyway. I still can't really tell how much you actually care about writing. The way you doing alright. I'm very, like, not really spending time with anyone but Yuri. I think it's nice to have activities that we all participate in. Better keep working hard. I mean, and I'm not president or vice president or anything. I'm jealous. But that doesn't mean you can't let me down, okay? At least, read mine too for now. But just be clear. This poem is a lot to me. So, read it carefully, okay? I don't know how else to bring this up. Something, but well, there's been something I've been worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. He's only been here a few days. I don't know what I mean. She's not normally like this. She's always been quiet, and ply, and attentive. Things like that. Okay. On a cat, get this is really cat embarrassing. I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her. If I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person she'll listen to. I don't know why, but let's try to do something. I <laughs> convinced her to talk to a therapist. I've always wanted to try being a better friend, a friends with Yuri. It really hurts me to see all this, this happening. Uh, where was I? Sorry. Now I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that. Right now, I don't care. I just feel so helpless. Please, if, if you can do something to help, I don't want anything bad to happen to you. I'll make you cupcakes. If I have to, please try do something. Monica, I don't know why. I'm being really dismissive about this. It's like she just wants us to ignore it. I'm mad at her right now. But that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just, just pretend I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. Be suspicious if I said you gave me a good poem because all your poems are shit, but yeah, sure. <laughs> Oh, 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 she's got their face. Go on. He's doing glitch. Yeah, you gotta do a demon voice or something. I changed my mind. Not everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so, so unlikable. And Nathan. If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Oh. Just Monica. Oh. Just Monica. Just, just Monica. Oh. oh. <laughs> it's my favourite game, the Just Monica game. 
Hello, okay. Welcome back, hello, welcome back to Just Monica. Uh, I'm here with Monica. <laughs> no, we're only allowed to say Monica now, so uh, Monica, Monica. Monica, Monica. Anyway, right, let's read the Ori's poem. Ah, <laughs> ah, Yuri holds my poem to her face and takes a deep breath. I love it. I love everything about it. Nathan, I'm, I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it? Please? Uh, fucking go for it. <laughs> You're too nice to me, Nathan. It's a piece of fucking paper, but okay. I've ne never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. But not really, but... I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? It's not bad, right? It's a bit fucking creepy. Here holds my perm to her chest. I'm going to take this home and keep it in my room with me. I hope that it makes you feel good when you think about me having it. Take good care of it. Fuck you, I lost myself while reading it over and over. Hang on, wait, I'll give myself paper cuts and so your skin oil and just my. <laughs> what I wanted to do was write some fucking poems. You can have my poem too. I don't want it. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really gonna want to keep it. I don't fucking think so. Yeah, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it. Oh my god. I don't know. Can I read this? You could just make random noises, I guess. Yeah, perfect. Just like demon noises. The powers of Christ compels. Oh, the screen's getting redder and redder. Oh, fuck. Do you like it? I wrote it for you. Yeah. In case you couldn't tell, the poem is about. Uh, <laughs> More importantly, I've endowed it with my sins. Take on a thoughtful person in the car. Nope. <laughs> I... I think I'm going to pick. Yeah, me and you two oh. love. Oh. <laughs> yes or no? <laughs> Melissa, yes or no? Uh, no. Oh, no, I keep done. I think this one's actually for Natsuki as well. Yeah. Read it, Melissa. Things I like about Papa. I like when Papa comes home early. I like when Papa cooks me dinner. I like when Papa gives me allowance. I like when Papa spends time with me. Papa's in the house! Papa asks about my friends. I like when Papa asks about anything. I like when Papa gives me lunch money. I like when Papa comes home before sundown. I like when Papa cooks. I like when Papa gives me privacy. I like when Papa doesn't tell me how to dress. I like when Papa doesn't comment on my friends. I like when Papa doesn't comment on my hobbies. I like when Papa comes home without waking me up. I like when Papa keeps food in the house. I like when Papa uses his inside voice. I like when Papa leaves my stuff alone. I like when Papa accidentally drops coins on the couch. I like when Papa is too tired to notice me. I like when Papa is too tired for anything. I like when Papa is too tired for anything. So for our people who can't read into subtext, basically the dad's just a dick, and doesn't feed her, and is an alcoholic. Uh, and he's loud. Hates her friends and manipulates her, probably beats her as well. I mean, it's implied. I don't know if it's implied in this poem, but it's implied in other poems. But yeah, cool. I, uh, I like when he doesn't reach. Alright, everyone. It's time to figure out the festival preparations. Let's hurry and get this over with. Jeez. Why is it being so weird today? Even Yuri isn't immune to it. Yo, yo. That night in there is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Did you just foreshadow a foreshadow? <laughs> Fall break, am I right? I'm gonna 
gonna be printing and assembling all poetry pamphlets. Not Sugi. I was thinking. What's <laughs> make cupcakes? Yeah. That. <laughs> yeah. What? Well. Glad you're on the same page. <laughs> Get it, page like a book. Jory, <laughs> <laughs> you can. Well, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want as long as you think it'll help. Monica? I'm not used to you now. I know that. Do you? And a funny way of saying it, I already know what I'd like to do. You can't run a successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere for the occasion. So I'm going to make some decorations and set them outside. Set up some nice mood lighting. That's a great idea. And that gives us all something to do. Eh? What about Nathan? I think I need some emotional support after reading your poems. <laughs> Nathan is gonna help me. I don't want to! Hey, you? I have the easiest job, Monica. Yeah, you fucking ginger. Sorry, well that's just how it... Oh, it do really so I don't have free will anymore. Okay. Like hell it is. What are you trying to pull? Uh. She's trying to pull. <laughs> okay, what, was... Okay. what was that sound, Toby? <laughs> She's trying to pull something, isn't she? I'm trying to pull this. Not only is your work already most suitable for a person, but my task is laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too. What, your cupcakes? <laughs> Please. I think you would fucking know. Oof. All you care about is now dragging Nathan around with you and your stupid fucking bug. You and Monica. Leave it out, dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even do it. <laughs> Leave it okay. out, dickhead. Why not let Nathan decide who instead of abusing your power? Yeah, I'm the one who abuses power around here. I'm not abusing my power. <laughs> I'll tell you who is abusing some power. <laughs> I'm the one who abuses power around here, you stupid bitch. Yes, you are, Monica. <laughs> Just let Nathan make the choice, okay? I'm not abusing, no. They don't call me Natsuki's dad. Oh! Jeez. Jeez. Nathan, I know how fed up you are with these two by now. You can just. Oh my god. That's it, he's not your fucking mouth, let him decide for himself. You shut your mouth. Jesus Christ. On a bike. This is never going to end. Just make the choice, alright? How do I pick none of them? Do I just close the game, yeah? I abstain. <laughs> Oh, it's making me pick Monica. I don't want to pick Monica, leave me alone. <laughs> Look, it's doing this to the mouse. Who do we pick? Um, okay, I've got a fast enough DPI to beat the game, so... Oh! Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't want to pick Monica. <laughs> Which Monica do we pick? Monica, Monica. I don't know, this Monica looks pretty good. Monica, Monica. Christ! Yeah, you picked me! Wow, she's abusing more power than me on the CVGS Discord. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, anyway, let's end this episode here. Uh, cool. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye! Bye. Subscribe!